that the opportunity before us tonight, especially in adoration, is to get still and just give him this much. If you, I opened, I mean, I don't even know if I opened that much. It might have been this much. But that's truly all he needed to just slowly start to change my thinking as we talked about in the room earlier. And Father's going to talk more about that. I just want to say one more thing that I know some of you can relate. And I know you're also caught in lies. And I'll tell you how I know that. Because Megan mentioned this term earlier. But there is this phenomena called the open secret. And it's interesting because there's a secret that we're all keeping. I'm keeping a secret from you, and you guys are keeping a secret from me. And unbeknownst to us, we're all keeping the very same secret. So what is it? I'm struggling. There are circumstances in my life that I cannot control. I get scared. I get angry. Sometimes I have no idea what to do. Yeah, I know. Me either. I know that's your voice. And... I just want to assure you that there's a moment that happens, and maybe it's going to happen right now. We start to look around at each other and go, I thought I was the only one that felt that way. I thought I was the only one that thought that thought. That might be the most insidious lie of all, that lie that you're, al- you're alone. Look at, look at you guys. You guys have it all together. Your lives work every day, all the time. Your lives just work, right? Yeah, mine either. We can just get real and be truthful because one thing I learned on my journey is that revealing is healing. Keeping it hidden does not heal. Revealing, speaking the truth, especially to our Lord, doesn't he already know? So my wish, my prayer, my hope for all of us tonight is um, that we may, you know, the Lord might just reveal that one thought in your mind that he's saying, give it to me tonight 